We are now in February and season 2 begins next month. February is set to be a crazy month here on Fortnite with the map changes that we are expecting. With season 2 due to be coming next month and only 2 more updates before the season 2 launch day, we can expect some crazy content coming our way as Fortnite prepares themselves for another epic season. Today we will take a look at all the new leaks and info regarding season 2 here in Fortnite, you don't want to miss this because it's iconic. Guys, here on the channel, we aim to bring you daily Fortnite content with all the latest news, leaks, chapters, skins, everything, everything you need to know about Fortnite, you can find right here on the Forever Fortnite channel. <laughs> hey, this is what I like right here. This, this is what I like right here, all right? Guys, make sure to stay tuned all the way until the end of today's video because we've got some great information for you guys today and you really do not want to miss this. Here on the channel also, we like to gift our subscribers every single day. If you don't want to receive a gift, that is perfectly fine. Go ahead and skip to the time on screen right now and that'll take you to all the juicy information we've got for you guys in today's video. But if you do want to receive a gift, all you need to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, comment your epic ID down below and make sure to go ahead and add me on epic also. Guys, if you have Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it, please go ahead and drop me a follow over there as well. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated as I will be sharing information regarding videos over there and when I'm going to be playing with subscribers. All that can be found over on Twitter. But without further ado, guys, but in fact, one more rule. If you do get accepted to receive a gift, please do not spam me with invites. If you do, I will have to remove you, which means obviously you can't receive a gift. But with that being said, let's get into all this juicy information that we have got for you guys today. Starting off, guys, open world game mode Arnold continues to be updated by Epic Games. It will have its own storyline slash lore. The three acts in the mode have something to do with the story. It will have bosses. NPCs are known as secondary characters. It will have drivable vehicles. It will have dynamic locations and biomes. It will have its own lobby screen. Disclaimer, this is not LEGO Fortnite. Now guys, this has been rumoured for quite a while now and originally people actually got this mixed up a little bit with LEGO Fortnite thinking that this was the open world game mode. Obviously, we all know that LEGO Fortnite is a huge open world game mode. It's basically Minecraft, Lego, Fortnite all combined into one and it's a huge open world game mode. But Fortnite are working on another open world game mode which I'm going to predict it's going to be similar to Grand Theft Auto Fortnite. Someone cooked here with just a lot less violence basically and I think it's going to be pretty cool and it seems to be in the works for quite a while and I believe it's been in the works since like chapter 2 so we're looking at quite a few years now that this has been in the works for and we all know that Fortnite don't like to put anything out unless it is fully actually ready to be put out so we could be seeing it soon it could be a while yet but it's definitely still getting worked on and I can't wait to see it also we have confirmation that the McLaren 765LT is in the works for Fortnite and Rocket Racing now guys if you don't know obviously Rocket Racing is a new game mode in side of Fortnite and a lot of the cars that are in Rocket Racing are also obviously in Rocket League with the two being combined together. Now the, what they're doing and working on actually doing is bringing cars over from Rocket League over into Rocket Racing and if you own this vehicle in Rocket League you'll automatically own it in Rocket Racing and Fortnite. Now what is the actual point of these vehicles except for just Rocket Racing because all these vehicles are the exact same speed in Rocket Racing and it is purely cosmetic value. Back to them. Really? Say congratulations you played yourself. So these price tags are a little bit crazy what they've been asking for some of these vehicles. But you can use these in the Battle Royale game mode on Fortnite. When you get into a certain car, like a sports car, it will transform into what car you've got selected, like the skin. Like what they used to do with the golf buggies, where they could actually change the skin on the golf buggy. So you do actually get a little bit of a bonus with this. Talking about skins also, let loose, subscribe to crew in February and get this Gilmore girl now. Lana has actually come out now. It's now February, obviously. And this is the February Fortnite crew skin. Let me know, guys, down below if you or getting this skin it's a pretty cool skin and i'm looking forward to seeing it inside the game personally i don't bother with fortnite crew and um, i probably should do but i just don't i just tend to we play do this game i used to just use a default skin most of the time or a black knight but now obviously i'm rocking the john cena and i don't really buy skins for myself i just like to gift them out to you guys so uh yeah huge tweet here from sheena though fortnite v28.2 has been added to staging servers and will be released next week it should include the teenage mutant ninja turtles event here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Mm. 
Now guys, if you don't know what is happening with this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles event, we saw leaks a long time ago about this underground base that we're meant to be getting. Obviously it was already in game, but we're just going to have a makeover for this and it's going to turn into the Turtles layer. Now guys, it was all meant to happen. The actual drain covers were glowing green, which was part of the collab, but it never happened. We saw the skins, we saw these drain covers glow green, but we never saw the rest of it. Now guys, it's meant to be coming out. It's going to have its own mini battle pass for this Shredder skin as well. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be insane. I can't wait to see it inside the game. Game. Guys, if you are hyped for this, subscribe to the channel. And before we do move on with today's video, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for all the support here on the channel recently. Whoever you are, thank you. I really can't thank you guys enough. It's just fan absolutely fantastic. Anyone that likes, comments, subscribes, shares, I see it all and I can't thank you guys enough. With that being said, I want to give back to you guys. I want to give out some more skins. So if you do want to receive a free gift, all you need to do is drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be gifting out some more to you guys. Obviously, it is hard to get to all of you guys. I've got hundreds and hundreds of friends requests at the moment, so I do apologize. I'm going to just start trying to work way through them. And uh, yeah, the more support, the more this channel grows, the more I can give back to you guys. But with that being said, let's get back to this juicy information that we have got and one last little thing here before we do move on to season two a new vehicle slash movement item codenamed spherical is being worked on it'll be an item in your inventory that will turn into a vehicle similar to the inflatable movement item now guys i'm not gonna lie i can't remember this item i'm sorry I did take a big break from Fortnite at one point, so it might be enjoying this period. Looks pretty cool. Let me know down below what you think about this. But guys, let's move on to this season two now, because we're all here for the season two information. And in case you missed it, chapter five season two was officially play tested a few days ago. The current release date is around March 8th. However, this could change. Now, guys, this is a huge, huge step. We know we're getting a pretty cool season when it comes to season two. Season two has a habit of being insane seasons in Fortnite, and I can't wait to see chapter five season two. And I know you guys can't wait either because also in case you missed it earthquakes are returning to the island in preparation for season two tractors have appeared in several places where there could be cracks in the surface within the coming week now guys there's a lot of map changes happening at the moment one of them being obviously the ice melting which we're going to cover in just a little bit we've had earthquakes in the game before and when this happened before it was absolutely crazy we saw these events happen we saw these earthquakes and it was completely crazy and it looks like they're going to be doing this again going into chapter five season two could we see stuff come up from out the ground could we see massive holes appear in the ground guys let me know some theories down below because i already know that they are going to be pretty pretty cool and guys a tweet here from hypex i know some of this we might have already covered but there's one little thing in this that i'm going to discuss in detail at the end but let's have a look at this tweet first fortnite are now place testing chapter 5 season 2 the season is rumored to be greek mythology themed due to the current map's art direction the greek mythology themed skins in the surveys and earthquake mini events that will start happening next week now guys the key part to this obviously we already knew a lot of stuff in this tweet but that is the mini events now, we're expecting to see some mini events now for these earthquakes inside the game, which is going to build up the hype even more for season two. And if you don't already know as well, the ice is currently melting on the map. I'll throw up on screen now what the map's going to be looking like once the ice is melted. But the main thing for this is where the actual big glacier is at the Glacier Hotel. The plane has started to slide down that mountain at the start. The plane was up at the top of the mountain and now it is next to the Glacier Hotel and it's starting to move. We're starting to get all this ice melting. If you actually go into the game and look at the ice closely, you can see this ice melting now what is under that ice we already know there's some kind of plane crash there Healy be hiding under the ice could there be a secret area under the ice that who knows what's happening could the atlantic city or atlantis whatever you want to call it be under this ice as we already know we're going to get this greek mythology themed we've got these greek fish sticks could it all be linked in could this be a new greek area on the map that we could be seeing for season two guys let me know your theories down below i know there's gonna be some crazy ones but guys that has been it for today's video if you're new around here please do subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace